Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Geek, and in today's guard video, I am going to show you how you can verify your Binance account. In order to do that, you will have to verify your identity in the Binance application. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and also make sure you turn on the bell notifications. And without any further ado, let us get started. So in order to verify your Binance account on the Binance cryptocurrency application, you want to simply follow all of the steps which I describe in this video. The first thing you want to do is simply make sure that you have actually downloaded and installed the Binance application. If you have not yet downloaded the Binance application, then you want to simply open your phone's app store. In the search box, you need to go ahead and type in Binance. Once you type on Binance, you can see the first application which comes up is called Binance by Bitcoin and Crypto. You want to simply open this application right from here. So once you open the Binance application, the other thing you want to do is also make sure that you are logged into your account. If you don't know how to create an account or log into Binance application, you want to simply go watch our other video where we show you how you can create an account on Binance cryptocurrency application for absolutely free. Now let us begin with the verification process. So as you can see, right as you open the application, here we have the option called complete your account and it says verify account at the yellow button right over here. So what we want to do is simply tap on the verify account button. Once you tap on verify button here, you can see it will ask you to fill your personal details. So what you want to do is simply tap on start now at the bottom of the screen. So here you want to enter your legal name according to your certificate. So make sure you don't enter your nickname. You want to go ahead and enter all of your legal name right over here. So once you enter all of your details such as your nationality, your first name, your second name, as well as your last name and then your date of birth, once you have made sure all of these details are correct according to your certificate, at the bottom of the screen you will be able to find an option called continue. So go ahead and tap on the continue button again. Once you tap on continue, it will ask us to enter our residential address. So what we want to do is simply enter your residential address right over here. You also want to make sure that the postal code as well as the city is correct. So once you do that at the bottom of the screen, go ahead and tap and continue again. So as you tap and continue here, it will ask us that in order to verify our identity, we will need to upload a document of ours such as our ID card, which means our citizenship. It could also be your passport or it could also be your driver's license. So you can choose a document of whichever is convenient for you. If you don't have a driver's license or passport, then you will need to have an ID card. Or if you have been missing your ID card, then you can select any of the other options below. As in my case, I'm going to simply select my driver's license. So I'm going to simply tap on driver's license right over here. And at the bottom of the screen, you want to go ahead and tap and continue right over there once you tap and continue here it says you are about to upload your driving license please ensure that this is your own government issued document that is not expired this is an original document not a scan or copy remove any card holders or covers to avoid reflections or blur place documents inside a solid colored background so you want to make sure that you have a document right at a solid background and that it still has a valid date and it is not expired you also want to make sure that it is an original document and not a scan copy or a photocopy so once you have made sure all all of that at the bottom of the screen you want to go ahead and tap on the continue button right over there so as you can see here it will ask us to enter our identity verification such as the front side of your driver's license and as well as the back side of your driver's license so make sure that you have placed your driver's license or any of the document which you selected right at a solid background once you do that you want to go ahead and tap on add for the front side of it once you tap on add you want to go ahead and tap on take photo again So once your document is in a fixed position, you need to go ahead and tap on the white round button right at the bottom of the screen. So once you are satisfied with the picture, you can see it will verify our 
picture right over here and after recognition your photo make sure that it is readable clear and not blurry well lit not reflective and too dark once you've done all of that at the bottom right hand side you want to simply tap on ok and once you tap on ok the next thing you want to do is to upload the back side of your driver's license so go ahead and tap on add again and again choose take photo option right at the bottom of the screen You want to similarly repeat the same process right over here and then the next thing you want to do is simply try to verify it with your face id so the next time you want to go ahead and simply tap on ok at the bottom of the screen so as you can see here it says document uploaded and you need to continue to add a selfie of yourself so make sure that the person in the scan photocopy as well as the person trying to verify is actually the real owner so what we want to do is simply tap and continue button right over here once you tap and continue here, it will ask you to enter your identity verification such as to take a selfie. You want to take a selfie of yourself with a neutral expression and make sure that your whole face is visible, centered and your eyes are open. So once you do that at the bottom of the screen, you can see an option called take a selfie. So you want to go ahead and tap on take a selfie button right over here. Once you take your selfie and are satisfied with it, what you want to do is tap on the use photo button right at the bottom right hand side of your screen. So once it takes your selfie, you want to go ahead and tap and continue again. Now it will ask you to authenticate your face so you want to make sure this is a live detection of the face verification. To do that at the bottom of the screen, you want to simply tap on the yellow button which says start verification. Simply follow all of the instructions as instructed by the application right over here and follow all of the directions which it says. Once it does that, you can see that the verification has been successful and that at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see a close button. So as you can see, it's going to take some time to process the verification right over here and we have already sent our verification to the Binance application. Now if you go back and if you reload the application, you can see that we have been successfully and immediately verified on the Binance cryptocurrency application without any need to wait without any period of time. So in this way, you can really easily verify your identity on the Binance cryptocurrency application. We hope that this guide video was really helpful to you. And if it did help you, then do make sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe. If you have any more questions or queries regarding this, then simply make sure to leave them down under the comment section. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.